Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Karen and I have been on the keto diet for a year and one month now. Today, we're gonna be unboxing this Keto Mojo. This is a blood glucose monitor and a ketone monitor. Um, you don't really need this, but it'll help you stay on track. It's not something I've used the first year of doing keto. I didn't use it, but Jimmy ordered it for me, so we're gonna test it out, and we're gonna compare it to my little old faithful breath monitor. So both of us didn't eat yet. We didn't have coffee yet, so if I'm a little not happy, it's probably because I didn't have my coffee yet. But we're gonna test this out first. We're gonna, oh, and yesterday, preparing for this video, I consciously did a cheat day thinking about making this video today. I kind of wanted to kick myself out of ketosis so I could see what this is like when I'm not in ketosis and then we're gonna beef and butter it for three days and get back into ketosis and just see how this all works out. So I gotta do this. If you wanna say hi, you can talk. Cause... I wasn't in ketosis yesterday, so I haven't been for quite some time. Hey guys, uh, JT and I are in the back of our truck. We, no, Frosty! We went to Adventureland today. No, Frosty! And James got a little tired. So my daughter and husband and one of her friends are still in Adventureland and something just happened. I didn't pack keto snacks because I didn't expect to be sitting in a truck for an hour. And the kids had all kinds of candy. And what did mommy just eat? Swedish fish and I eat... Swedish fish? Well, I didn't. These were like from our road trip, and I didn't even touch them on the road trip. Hours and hours in the car, I didn't touch them. And yeah, so this is my fourth cheat day in over a year. And I'm just gonna go with it because I bought, well, not me, Jimmy bought this Keto Mojo meter thing. It's like a blood test thing, and I wanna Mama, try it out. So I'm gonna thing. get myself out of keto right now. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ow. What, babe? Please. Can I tell them I ate Pez? Oh, James ate Pez. I ate Pez. Say, I'm not keto. I'm not keto. No. I just ate Pez. <laughs> He's not keto. <laughs> zero. I haven't blown a zero. Ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. All right, he has to wait like five minutes before you can do it. Zero. I'm, I've never been to zero. That's insane. So like, like for me when I first started, it's crazy. Oh, so, yeah, you open, I'll tell them the story. Jimmy ordered this back in August. Kind of been slacking with my channel. Never even opened it. So he got it on the Keto Mojo website, right? The website. Activate your lifetime warranty. <laughs> um, we paid, it was $59.99 for the meter. He also ordered this, which is like a Bluetooth connector. I'm not even going to try this right now because I just don't have the energy. I think I need coffee before I do that. So today we're just going to stab ourselves and see what our glucose is and what our ketones are. Stab ourselves. There was something that you had to do just to make sure it was calibrated. Right. Set up for Eastern time zone. Jimmy never takes these little sticky things off. I know why you do that. I always do. Because <laughs> I live. I live, baby. No covers on my couches. Ain't no covers on my couch. This is supposed to figure out if it's like calibrated to this machine. I don't know. If it so this number has to match the number on this little strip. Strip. And you only have to do this the first time, I think. Or for each new well, What I did wrong, I turned it on first. You didn't have to turn it on. You just stuck it in and it went on itself. So it matches. So we're good. All right. All right. Let's go. Alcohol swabs. We're going to clean our fingers first. Which one are we doing? Which finger? This one. Can I stab you? Yeah, but what's this thing? The, d the depth of the needle. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You don't have to go too I'll deep. Go in the middle. Damn, we gotta do There's a little thing that you can do the depth of the meter, like how deep you want it to go. I'm assuming that's what that is. Don't let your spouse stab you. Don't no, I've never used one of these. That is why we don't want your spouse to stab you. All right, so we, we definitely have to read the instructions. We had no idea what we were doing. There's little like needles that come, little blue needles. So we gotta open this up. Uh-oh. Okay. 
the thing this in there. This goes in here. Yeah, once you get it in and you twist that little thing off. It's got to go in a certain way. Okay, that's in. And then it's got to... You want to twist the needle off. Okay. And there's your needle. There's the needle. Put your cap back on. Put your cap back on. I'll stay every so. Yes. Okay. Tyler just wanted to say good morning. Okay, so what happened was we got to the point where we're supposed to cock the instrument here, and it was already cocked, so that's why I was confused. When this color inside turns yellow, there's like a little color thing. It's like almost an orange, orange yellow. You can't see it. You can't see it. There it is. See it? That little thing. When it's yellow, it's ready to go. So now I need Jimmy's finger. So what do I do? I just push it. Oh, great. I think I just pushed give this you button. my finger. No, can we just have your finger? I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, come on! I don't think this is gonna work. Let me just see. Ah! Did it work? Oh no! Come on! You're... Oh, I got it! Yay! Okay, there's blood. I see Barely. blood. Well, that's because I just wanted to use the deep one, and you told me not to use the deep one on I your you cow skin. You, I thought you had it set on. Oh, I didn't use the deep one. Well, hurry up! My blood right, is drying so up. Do this. I don't know, but. Stick this thingy in. Where does it go? Here, this oh, side. God, my blood. I need dry. coffee. I don't have coffee. I shouldn't have done this without coffee. But we were gonna... I said let's have we coffee. We wanted a true reading. Hurry, the blood is drying. What do I do? I don't know. Put it in that little thing. You don't want blood. You don't have enough blood. You didn't go deep. There's not enough blood. Give me a finger. Oh, you gotta keep it down. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're like, milking a cow? I feel like we're doing a finger prick at the doctor. It's not working. You don't have enough blood. Well, jeez. Right, I need to prick Jimmy's finger deeper because there's not uh. So is this still bleeding for me? There we go. Yay. So which one was this? 94. That's your glucose, right? 94. Okay, so Jimmy's glucose is 94. All right, so Jimmy stopped bleeding already, so I gotta stab him again. She loves this. Yeah. So you cock it, find a good spot. Can we do the, the tender part of your finger? Right here. Ready? Ready. Right. What? Oh my God, you're <laughs> so crazy! Because you're nuts. You're like, are you ready? Are you ready? God, you really have no blood. Seriously. <laughs> so there's like nothing there. That's not the good part of my finger. Here we go. Here we go. It's working. All right. Oh, blood. Nice. All right. Let's see. Point 0.5 millimole per liter. So point 0.5. We got to look up and see what that is. If that's good, bad. I think anything between point. Why is she doing this blood? Because <laughs> this is why I love, my wife loves doing this to me. Alright, I gotta pause this. Okay, my turn. So this was Jimmy. 0 0.5. I was trying to figure out if we want to switch this into the milligrams per deciliter, but I think we're going to leave it at millimoles per liter. So 0 0.5 is right, they said right at the start of ketosis. ketosis. He's not, he's right there, right on the oh, threshold. On the right on the, yes. So you really want to be above 0.5 all the way up to like 3.5. 3.5. Above that is too much. All right, so I'm probably going to be horrible right now. All right, I'll do my glucose first. You want to do it? You want to stab me? <laughs> Why are you laughing evilly? Hold on, let me get a kitchen knife. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I love you. I'm only kidding. I'll stab myself. I don't oh, need stop. you. Oh, stop. I don't need you. No, no, no. You I don't need you. I... You're taking away it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you doing? Oh, oh, you, you, push that button. you need oh, me to do it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. No, no, no. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Ow. Okay. Squeeze. Squeeze. Look, Squeeze. Look you have no blood. You didn't give it a chance. I got good blood. You have no blood. You have good blood. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah, so was Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. 
This is my glucose. 94. Is that what you were? Mine was 94. Same thing. 94. It's a little high for fasting glucose, but we ate a lot of junk ah. last night. Yeah, we did. Taco Bell! Yeah. We had, I had a cheat day, so I, I needed to do Taco Bell, and I haven't had Taco Bell in like a year. And a giant so, frozen margarita. Oh, so good. I'll put a picture of that up. It's it's so two good. Coronas stuck in the top. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. We used the margarita machine first time in a year. This is all for this video. I had that cheat day for this video. So I can get myself out of ketosis. I did it for you guys, not for me. It wasn't for me. <laughs> yeah, she didn't enjoy that taco. Not for me. <laughs> didn't enjoy it at all. You really wanted to. Mm. <laughs> okay. <gasps> I'm only point one, but this is good. I did this for the video. I wanted to be low. That was the whole point. You can't see it. Point one. So Jimmy was point five. So he's actually in a better state of ketosis than I am right now. And I ate a lot of Taco Bell. You did. And you didn't have the Swedish fish that I devoured. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. But I did have those Cinnabon thingies. Oh, do your thingies. breath. Do this. I did have those Cinnabon thingies. Oh my god, we got the Cinnabon. Oh my god, it was bad. It was bad. Filled with like... Hear that. It was bad. Filled with some kind of... Cream. Cream cheese or something. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so Jimmy's gonna blow into that thing. So I really don't need the beef and butter as much then. You do. You need to. Yes, you do. We're gonna beef and butter. We're gonna test... This lighting is horrible. We're gonna test... Ourselves again. I guess, what, tomorrow morning? We'll try to do it every morning. I don't know if I can videotape it because it's really tough to do this without coffee. I'm waiting for coffee right now. I need it. Let's see what you got. Ah! So he's zero on the breath, but 0.5 on the blood. So the they blood say the is blood more is more accurate. accurate. You want to drink that? was broken. All right, we will check I need in to get tomorrow. Coffee, get coffee. Coffee. Hey guys, ow. Good morning, guys. I know I haven't been around in a long time, but one of my subscribers, Trish Ann, left me some nice comments, and I told her I was going to start beef and butter today, and I'm hoping that she's doing it too. So I dropped the kids off, and I went to the food store and picked up. Some stuff for beef and butter and I'm gonna do it. I need somebody to keep me accountable and Trish Ann is doing that. Sorry about my bird. I didn't cover him. He's chirping already. Um, it's been a while. I have been keto but I haven't been strict at all. I've been drinking too much. So let me just show you what I got for beef and butter. So I was away all weekend. My family went away on a little girls weekend which I've never done before and it was awesome. Just the fact that you know I could drive three hours upstate. Just the girls, me and my daughter and my mom. Went, we met my cousins, my aunts. We had a great time. Sorry, my daughter just called. Um, she has anxiety and she calls me from school every now and then. That's why I have this in so I don't miss her phone call. So I miss her phone call. She gets really upset. Look at me. I'm not even used to making videos. I'm not even looking at the camera. Hi, sorry. I'm supposed to look over there. It's been a while. All right, so the cat's getting into my meat. This is what we got. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite meat, chopped meat to buy. It's even better than the chopped meat that I bought at the butcher, honestly. I couldn't find 80-20, this is 85% lean, but still it's better than 90. So I got that, I got a couple of those. I got some burger patties. Um, I just picked up some other stuff that, you know, normal stuff I get at food store I'll show you, but this really isn't, you know, strictly beef and butter. I could have this on beef and butter, but I like to really stick to just water if I can, but, and the keto, my keto drive. But these things are great. I actually like mixing these with alcohol, which I have to stop doing. I need to stop drinking so I can get back into ketosis. That's why I can't get back in. That's why it's taking me so long, because I keep drinking on weekends and it's not good. All right. That's a whole, whole nother story. Um, I picked up these. I never tried these before. I'm not going to be trying them for the next three days because I'm doing beef and butter, but keto, slim fast. I've never seen them in my food store. I've heard about them. So I'm going to try those. I'm not a big fan of like bars and stuff, but when you're in a pinch, um, these are for my son, but of course I could eat these too. Hot dogs, pepperoni, this is just normal stuff I grab when I go to the food store. What else do I got? Anything good? No, that's for my son. 
that's more beef. That's about it. I just did a really quick food store run just to really to get the, the chopped meat so I can start this beef and butter today because I really need to get back on track. Um, I didn't gain a lot of weight. Oh, I don't even, hold on, let me turn you off. Okay, so I don't feel like I gained a lot of weight. I've been a while, like I haven't really been strict keto in a really long time. Um, I bought a breath, not a breath, a blood monitor. Jimmy bought me a, a blood monitor and we started to make a video a couple weeks ago and we were supposed to do beef and butter to see if the blood monitor correlated with the breath monitor. And we lasted like a half a day and then we had a drink and it just all went downhill. So, but I honestly, I feel good. Like I never really did keto for weight loss. Like I still feel like I'm good. You know, I'm not huge. I'm definitely on my heavier side. I didn't step on the scale yet today, but this is me. I feel good. I never really did keto for weight loss. I did keto for energy and that's what I really, really need now because every night at 7.30, I wanna go to bed and my daughter's up till 9.30 and it's not good and this is how it all started. So I'm getting back. Oh, and then what else happened this morning? Let me show you what else happened this morning. Hold on, we're going upstairs. So my first cup of coffee this morning. Come on, come on, come on. So in the morning, my little Sun comes up and we hang out in my bed, watch some TV, some Star Wars, whatever. So we're sitting in bed watching Star Wars and that happens. Yes, my coffee, my keto coffee. So I'm only on like two sips of coffee right now. I don't know why I have all this energy, but that happened. And my house is a mess. Like I was away all weekend. It was a long weekend too. So I have all this to do, to clean. This is gonna be my day today. I'm not even gonna go into my daughter's room because it's really a mess, but I still have a suitcase. Where are you, suitcase? Suitcase to unpack, a stick, don't mind the stick. My son likes sticks, we brought it home from upstate. There's all his toys all over the place. So yeah, gotta do strip the bed, do all the laundry. Clean this house. Oh God, look downstairs. You can't even see I have a bar. Can't even see the bar. Like this is unusable. All my daughter's clothes all over the place. Window bench, can't even sit on it. Yeah, I have my hands full today. So, all right, so I'm gonna step on the scale. I'm gonna see what I weigh. Um, all right, I guess we could do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. 163.8. So I'm like almost 10 pounds away from my goal weight in the scale. I think my goal weight in the scale is 154. Muscle mass is way down. I missed the body fat. I'll have to go back and look at it. Uh, body fat, 29. Woof. Okay, so these are the results comparing breath to blood monitor. Day one, 0.6 on blood and 0.15 on breath. Day two, 1.1 on blood and 0.2 on breath. Day three, 1.4 blood, 0 0.30 breath. And day four, 1.6 blood and 0.35 breath. So I did a little chart here and they definitely correlate. I mean, they're, they're done in different measurements, but they're definitely correlating. Okay, so these are my results from the four days of beef and butter. I lost over seven pounds. I started at 163 and I went down to 156. Uh, my body fat percentage also went down almost 2%. So I love doing the beef and butter fast. Uh, it just works so great just to drop all the water weight, get me back on track. Okay, so I just want to sum this all up. My review of the breath monitor versus the blood monitor. I honestly don't think you need either of them. I just got the blood monitor after I've been doing keto for a year, never needed it. I think it's fun to check and see exactly like what my numbers are, especially when I do little competitions with my husband. Like I always like competition. So that's like one of my reasons for having these monitors is it's just for fun, but you don't need them. If you're the type of person that really wants to see where they're at, it seems like both of them worked. I mean, the breath monitor in the beginning was hard for me to learn like where my number should be, but once I used it for a while and learned how to blow into it correctly, it has been great. I know where I'm good. Like with the breath monitor, 0 .5, 0.05, I'm really not in ketosis. Anything from a 0.1 up to a two, I'm kind of like moderate ketosis and after a 0.25 on the breath monitor is when I feel really good. 
So that's what I've learned. Those are my numbers. I really don't know what the manual says anymore. I opened that like over a year ago, but that's where I'm at. And it's measured in a different unit of measurement because my point, what I had 0.35 at the end was similar to the 1.6 on the blood. So it's definitely a different unit of measurement. But when you look at the chart that I made, they did correlate. They both went up accordingly. So I was glad to see that the breath monitor actually was kind of accurate compared to the blood, where everybody says the blood is the most accurate. Um, I don't know how much I'll actually use the blood monitor. I really just go by the way I feel, but I will link down below in my description, a link to the breath monitor and a link to the blood monitor if you guys wanna get those for your own enjoyment. So my beef and butter fast results were amazing. Again, seven pounds and almost 2% body fat. Just amazing. I love doing it. It's so easy. I did find that I need a little cup of decaf coffee at night just to, you know, soothe me. I don't know. I couldn't really get through without that extra decaf coffee. I don't know what's beeping in the background. Sorry. Somebody's texting. Um, I hope you guys like my channel. Please subscribe. Uh, tell people about it. I actually had a big increase in subscribers lately. So it's kind of exciting. I hadn't made a video in a while and my subscribers just kept going up. So thank you to all my new subscribers and please comment down below and let me know what types of videos you like to see. I have a couple of new products that I bought that I'm going to do some just quick review videos on, but let me know what you like. If you like the vlog type, type videos, the informative videos, the reviews, let me know because I want to make you guys happy. I'm getting a lot of new subscribers and I just want to keep my content geared towards what you guys like to see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.